Hello everyone, welcome back to the next part of Max Payne playthrough. We're continuing on with the chapter four here, the blood veins of New York. Jesus, so, angels. Amen. so let's see here. Uh, get some painkillers, nice. I couldn't get past the door without a key. That's locked. So yeah, let's go into this restaurant thing here. Or this, I guess this is a different door. Um, let me heal up real quick. There we go. Quick save in case I die so I don't have to grab those freaking things. Ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Search the whole area here. I want to make sure I grab any painkillers and ammo I can get. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of. There was a key on the table. It was dirty money. Nice, there we go. If I remember correctly, there should be a boss fight coming up around this area. A quick save here. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. <laughs> but no. They sit down in front of a TV, and solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Guess he ain't getting no action today. I did not hit her. I'd be kidding me, right? There we go. There's no way that she should have that much health, but anyways. what it's worth it was somewhat smooth so let me save there oh okay so that's how that's going There's a freaking bullet sponge and a half.
Wow. But getting closer to him would be more beneficial, but instead I just have more goons coming after me now. Oh, I got a painkiller here. Nice. It's actually a really clutch painkiller right there. I think this dude's dead. I don't know if there's more dudes here, though. There's gotta be more because I saved just in case. We didn't get that, like, final bullet time effect. Uh, because I'm thinking there could be more. I'm not sure. The antique though. switchboard was still in use. I have an Uzi now. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines. The blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, Connelly, this makes pain. The game started capitalist. He killed... Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. So I actually closed the exit. I think I was open before. Did that. Oh, maybe it doesn't do anything. I guess we gotta go upstairs. Uzi is nowhere near as effective as a freaking NPC's Uzi. That's for sure. Little casino thing here. So stuttery. Driving me nuts. Feeling something like this was coming. That's open now. Be this door? Nope. Oh, yeah, right here. I think. If not. Hmm. Ah, okay. I think I know. Let's hit that exit switch now. There we go.
Chapter 5, let the gun do the talking. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger-happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes-Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. That vodka, license plate nice. No way there would ever be a truck like that coming through New York City. <laughs> I don't know. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Worrying, man. Think of it as Christmas. The Russians are with Santa. Hold it. There we go. Uh, that's all taken care of. When I get to these ice, awesome little items in here. See some painkillers in there. I see some weapons. Come on, man. Gotta be some way to get in there. I guess it's a door from a different building, maybe? Let me see. Can go into here? Nope. I'm trying to remember. If there's a way to get in here from this place. Yeah, that door, I think it's the only way to get in there, but... Music like it's in a room next door, which yeah, let's let's try to run around the building. We'll see what happens. Maybe somewhere around here. The headlines were a depressing read. Huh. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Okay, here we go. This is probably how we get to it eventually. Through here. Hey, yeah. Wow. Quit worrying. Ah, Think shit. Hey. And save the game. Let me switch to. Much better prepared now. The headlines were a depressing read. Crazy how quick the enemies can melt you in this. Crap. The 
wrong button. Damn it. That's another annoying thing too, like once you're in that animation, this dude takes forever. It's, everything is like slow-mo, so it takes forever for this dude to pull out a different weapon, so... Unfortunate, but... Sometimes... Second or third try is a charm, I guess. So... These lockers? They are, but there's nothing in them. Okay. Or at least they don't open, so we can't really say if there is or isn't anything in them. But... The whole building was rigged with explosives. If that does anything. Okay, so yeah. It definitely does something. And I did that thing again where I didn't quick save, but it's fine. We weren't like that far ahead. Should have been just enough to kill him. So we know there's two guys in this room. was rigged with explosives. Let's try this again. Yes, please. Action music is never good in games. It means shit's about to go down. Except for maybe Doom. And Doom, you always want some of that action music going on. phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooten. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. It's a clever rat. The cops arrived. Sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Okay guys, so I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, we'll end this here, and we'll continue it in the next part. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.